paddle steering now with your oro. One euro dip for Right steering out to two with your oro. Can I one euro? Since the 1800s, Moore Street gained a reputation for its many butchers and the selling of fruit and veg. By the turn of the century, a dense network of small shops and stalls had evolved, making it the largest market in Dublin city. Well, as regards the boiling selling of Moore Street, uh, it goes, as I said to you a minute ago, it goes back 70, 80, 90 years. At one time, Moore Street was just one mass of butcher shops. On both sides, just a butcher, 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 butcher. And you would have abattoirs behind them again. Um, Moore Street was always famous for selling meat. At one time, there was about 20 butcher shops here. Now, there's only ourselves and another chap down the road. Well, this morning, Mel and I go up around four o'clock. We don't live together, but we live near each other. And then we go out and we get a taxi around four to five, which is around from where we live. And then we go out to Blanchestown, which is where the fish marker is now. As you know, the fish marker was in town. We used to fall out of bed practically into the market. That's gone. Well, every morning we're up about six, and then I have to get all the children out to school. And um, then I come in and do the market, and when I come back from the market, I set up the stall. So that's another hour gone. And then I, when I'm finished, then I have a cup of coffee, and then get stuck in and try and sell what I'm at the purchasing. I will be up at five in the morning. I'll be down in the market by half five. I would order in the market, and I would get everything delivered before seven o'clock. Yeah, the, the market's really open, I suppose, seven days a week, but for trading it's open six, and that's Monday to Saturday. Uh, Saturday's a half day, and Tuesday tends to be a half day as well, it's not so busy. Uh, eight mix grapes. Uh, Moore Street would have been a very important association years ago, because the market prior to refrigeration and that would have had to clear the produce on a daily basis and what wasn't sold uh, in bulk would be sold then to the Moore Street dealers and they would sort of sell it on at a, at a good price. The new Irish, as I call them, have come in here. They love Moore Street for the open market atmosphere and the way we sell meat as well, more in an old-fashioned way than the way it's done in the supermarkets. We, we do encourage more businesses to come in back into the city and bring people back to the city and have little places like that. We sell here all Asian products and about uh, Indian, Pakistani, Asian, all country, Chinese, Philippines. Uh, we have meat, uh, halal meat here in Irish countries. Uh, uh, we have uh, locally purchased from companies, uh, we, but we have halal from there. Mm -hmm. So we are fresh uh, every day we get from them and we sell here good. Walking in Moon Street is, is pleasant, the people are friendly and uh, it's like a multicultural atmosphere. So we get customers from all over, like Irish, blacks, you know. We do extensions, like as you can see there, those are the cliffs weave ones, and those are the ones that you just kind of weave the hair around and then stitch it onto it. So we get people, like most, especially students, from Dublin and all, all over the place anyway. 
even customers from UK and all over. <laughs> oh, not only my hair extension, they come for the lashes, uh, nail, because I do all those. I fix lashes, I fix nail, eyebrow, all kinds. No, because it's multicultural business, you know, a lot of nationality. That's what motivates me to have business here. With the food stores, with the, like, they have lots of competitions coming from the supermarkets around. I believe they're going to die out, like, over time. Grocery is, was very famous for, for years because before you had all the big supermarkets all over Dublin, everybody came into Grocery to buy their, their fish and their, their bacon and their, their meat for the weekends. There with lots of Tesco's and Aldi's and Lidl's who sell their stuff for cheap, you know, little or nothing. Mm -hmm. So people get into the habit of buying cheap flowers, not good flowers, but cheap flowers, you know. So it does affect us all, yeah, has done. When they opened up first, people was curious and they went to them and shopped in them a lot. But now you still get the old reliables coming, you know, we're lucky we have those to come and still do a bit of shopping off us. These people do sell fish, but they wouldn't sell it the same quality as what we sell. What we get is straight from the sea. What you get in the shops is probably being put into the fridges, taken back out, put in, taken back out, loses its flavour. We want to try to help the people, uh, because other peop uh, shops, I see them prices, double than our shop price. So even, you see, milk we sell only one euro, and you see the Lidl and Tesco Dons, they sell 150, 169. Even they buy the cost price even less than us, mm -hmm. and uh, even we pay more and uh, sell less price, you know. As the years go by, many of the street traders and their stalls have diminished. But what does more streets mean to the remaining few? It's tradition for us, it's a way of life with us. Younger people don't want to do it anymore. It's too hard. The work is way too hard. However, in this economical climate, we're all glad of a job. But regarding that it's tradition, it's, you know, it's, every city has a market. And if we lose this, we lose kind of a market, a tradition. It means a lot, because if you earn money, it means you're in a position to help your children. I have five children, and they're all grown-ups now, and they all have their own homes and their families, so I'm in a better position to be able to help them, you know, which is great. But above all, it's mixing with the public. We mix with hundreds of people on a weekly basis, you know, on a weekly basis. And you come down to most, you think you have troubles, and then you listen to the other people's troubles, and you realise you don't have troubles at all, you know? Well, if it didn't mean so much to me, I'd be gone. Uh, it means an awful lot to me, more than money, I suppose, really. Um, I had a few chances to sell to developers, and I've refused to sell. I'm trying to stay here and keep the business going.